Hello and welcome to this quick start tutorial where we're going to be getting started with the Steam VR template in Stingray. In this tutorial, we're going to really rapidly run through the basics of creating a project, getting your project running, playing it in the Steam VR headset, and we're going to take a quick look at the programming and flow and how the levels are created. In order to begin, what we're going to need to do is launch our Stingray application. And once the application is launched, you're going to come to this window. Now, in this window, we can uh, do a couple different things. We can launch existing projects. We can add existing projects if we've already created one, but it's not listed here. Or we can go to the templates, and that's what we're going to be doing. So in the templates tab, you will see that there is this VR Steam template um, creation tool. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that template, and we're going to go ahead and hit create. And once we hit create, we're going to be confronted with some options. Uh, we can name the project. So let's call this uh, test VR template. And we can set up our directory, which is going to be where the project is going to live. So let's go ahead and put this on our desktop for now. But we can put this anywhere on our computer. In fact, I would recommend not putting it on your desktop. Uh, on your desktop. But we're going to put it on our desktop. So we're going to go folder, and I'm going to call it Steam VR Template. Okay? And inside of Steam VR Template, I'm going to create a folder called Project. And I'm going to select that folder. Then inside my description, I'm going to leave the description of the project. Uh, test run of Steam VR template. And I'm going to go ahead and hit create. Now, once you have the project created, all you have to do is go File, Open Level, and select the VR Learning level. Once the level is loaded, we can navigate the scene by holding down our right mouse button and using that to look. And then while continuing to hold the right mouse button, we can use the W, A, S, and D keys to move around. So W will move you forward, S will move you backwards, A will slide you left, and D will slide you right. Now we can use that navigation to you know, go to anywhere in the scene. And we can even select objects and see how they're constructed. So let's go ahead and do that with one of our objects. Let's grab this little Taurus thingy and go right click and say Open Selected in Unit Editor. Once it's open, we can go ahead and investigate how the flow has been created to make this asset work. So here we can see a very quick flow example of how this specific object is created. One of the really nice things about Stingray and the example that we're showing here is that we can really quickly investigate all the different ways that things are built because it's all done in flow, which is extremely easy to follow for most people uh, in the game dev world. So <clears throat> with very little effort, you can find out how to highlight units, give tactile feedback, play pickup sounds, play impact sounds, and reset the objects to their starting positions. This is all extremely useful, and I would highly encourage uh, anyone who's looking to create VR examples uh, to use this template as their kind of starting point and their beginnings because it'll really teach you everything you need to know. Um, one of the most important things to take note of, and I'm not gonna save this, um, is the actual controller itself. And I want to just quickly show you where that resides. Okay, so if we go to the root level of our test VR template, okay, or it'll be called whatever you named your project in your project, uh, but we'll see this folder called VR Steam. And this is unique to the VR Steam template. And within here, we can see all the different parts of what we're using specific to the HMD, the wand and many other parts of the of the controller and if we look in here uh, we can look at the wand extras one and we can see the entire flow of how the wand is interacting with this world and though it may seem a little complicated you can really see uh, very rapidly how the entire wand is built and how it is interacting with this world so this is another place that you know you're going to want to look at and investigate 
uh, when you're getting into you know, VR. So if you're very interested in learning VR and how the VR system works in Stingray, uh, this would be your starting point and the place that I would recommend uh, you know, trying to understand and, and looking through. Okay, that said, let's close this up now. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what it takes to actually get this to play back in our Steam VR headset. So the first thing that we'll wanna do is launch this little Steam icon right here. And in the Steam icon, you'll have this Steam VR panel. So let's just go ahead and click that. And upon launching, it'll go ahead and do a diagnosis of your Steam VR headset and make sure that everything is working properly. And as you can see, the Steam VR system is starting up and everything is connecting. And once it says that it's ready, you know that you can begin using your Steam VR headset with Stingray. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit our uh, Run Project button. Okay, now that our Steam VR headset is on and working, we can go ahead and use the thumb pad to navigate the scene, to teleport around, and kind of you know explore the environment uh, as you please. And you can go over to the different assets, and using the trigger button, you can pick things up, grab the baseball, hit the baseball, throw objects around, and generally experiment with all the different things that are in this level. We have examples on simple hittable objects that you can push around with a controller. We have a set of drums that you can play. We have examples of light switches. and even doors that open. We have a very nice little bouncy ball to show how to work with physics. Oop, my catching isn't so good. And my personal favorite, Miniature Land, where you can really see uh, how to change your entire perspective in the Steam VR headset, which is one of the really exciting things about VR is that you can do things that you just can't do in the real world, like become the size of a mosquito. Letting go, I can then go over to this little steam valve and rotate the steam valve, shut off the steam or enable it. And that is basically it. You can also see that we can go up to higher levels, which is really awesome and just kind of investigate the entire scene. So quitting out, we can see that we have a really comprehensive VR example. And as I was saying, you can look at any of the assets uh, from the door to the light switch, to the drums, uh, to pretty much anything inside the level. And by right clicking on it and selecting, you know, view and unit editor, you can go ahead and edit um, and see how any of these pieces are created. So this is just a really nice example of how to get started with VR.